Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty where I am trying to beat the game without knowing it in advance on the hardest difficulty. And uh, this episode and the next one is potentially called Defense Madness. Whilst uh, the NBA has uh, March Madness, uh, this game has uh, Defense Madness. We got five defenses upcoming and it's going to be quite interesting. So first one with a, a team that is still trying to uh, build up. I think this was the fifth or sixth team, Echo team or <coughs> Foxtrot team. And they indeed do need a little bit of love. Let me just double check uh, what we want to give them. So for starters, I think a few more purification grenades would definitely do the trick. Oftentimes we find ourselves in the need of that. I'm not sure if I really need that much pistol ammunition. And equally, what did I want to do with him anyways? 200 hit points, good. Might as well upgrade that and regain uh, enough strength to carry the extra pistol ammunition. We got um, Isla here. I remember um, he always used to uh, use uh, the what was it called subjugator yes in order to instill fear in the enemies good boy i like it i think what we could do is get another grenade uh, going nine points did we want to give him self-defense i think we did actually good vincento i very much remember him he did incredibly well in a few of the missions, uh, specifically with his shotgun. The one thing that I will say though is we might want to give him the Sinidran weapon. It's simply more accurate. On the other hand, this here ignores armor, which isn't bad either. Either way is fine by me. The acid grenade isn't bad uh, as well. I'm actually somewhat tempted to like make one team acid only and just completely focus on acid. And maybe we're actually going to do that. I do have enough resources to play around with it. So one, um, if I remember my plan, once we have upgraded uh, the the current items, I think what we can do is make one team an asset only team and then just look how the asset mechanic plays out so we got maddox of the ancient uh, which we're building quite a few nowadays so might as well use it to our advantage greta has always been very much a melee focused character but i think she also had Oh yeah, she had the trooper um, stat, so maybe we'll just leave it as is. I think we have another Berserker uh, that could use the Maddox of the Ancients much more than her. Just double checking the points. You know what? I mean, a little bit more strength is actually not a bad idea. Here we wanted to get the extra abilities and we still don't have a really great weapon. Ethan here could use the PDW, which is better. Also only costs one action point, so that's not bad. I think the over encumbrance is a bit of a problem. But we equally need the new skills, so it is what it is. We just need to suck it up. We want it resourceful here. Don't want to spend any Phoenix points, so we will need to wait until after the mission. Nick has done a good job so far. And I think if I could improve anything, it's potentially giving him kind of a better weapon. And Barbor, I very much remember 
uh, him. He's near and dear to my heart. Kind of a frontline soldier. Uh, one of the few that had uh, one of two enemy uh, units that have ever migrated to us. So I think really good overall. Can we get another weapon that would make sense? Potentially not. I mean, he's already doing well for himself. And this is exactly where the Madoc of the Ancients comes in. Polina um, needs that and a better grenade and a backup grenade pistol if needed. Yes, <clears throat> but mainly that stuff. Anything else that we can give her? No, I think we're fine. Good, listen, I think overall we're fine. False fire with a little bit more accurate sniper rifle. Doesn't hurt to have that. And other than that, I think our points are well spent so far. Polina does have extra points, but we wanted to get her a second class. So I'm not going to go out and spend points yet. Rather wait for the second class. Let's go, baby, let's go. All right, <clears throat> we landed. Let's take a good look. Oh boy, we already got a few enemies up and running. Got an assault there. A couple of key structures, uh, which will take the heat off of us. So I would say we're trying to like position up here with a sniper and take the inner area. There is a second unit somewhere, but I just can't find it yet. I can make a difference. Uh, too bad Polina just doesn't have the ability to charge there. However, I think we had uh, Onslaught. Target located. Okay, Berserkers have a good perception. Oh, okay, well, yeah, well, that changes a lot. The plan has just completely changed. Open up. Ah, there's uh, the next guy. War cry to get all three of these gentlemen, these fine alien gentlemen. Good. Instead, we're moving in. And we're going to break some armor. The shield would be a good one, but I think we're going to get four, so yep, that's a good one. Greta moves up out of line of sight. Barbour takes the place. Let's have a look. A couple of good hits, I like it. Um, infected with, with a virus on top of it. All right, Polina, what are we going to do with you? Here I come. Polina moves in. Check this out. And I think this is a very reasonable thing to do. This will continue to burn. And... We're hiding behind here. She's still the front line, but I don't want to like, go in too, uh, too far. 
Here comes the Phoenix. Yeah, that would n need to be four or five hits unlikely to happen. If we could soften them up a bit more, Ready I th roll. think that would be good. Bolt's fire moves up. Alright, that's good. Now we can go for rapid clearance. Um, I don't want to stand outside here. This looks very much like a trap. Instead, we're going into cover, hunker down. Seems reasonable to me. Deploying a turret. Again, I don't want to cluster up too much, but I want to get inside. Hmm. Okay. Let's hope there is not any rocket that's going to fly towards us. Overwatching. End of turn. And end of turn. Alright, here's a flamethrower, which is fantastic. Oh, hell yeah, good job. I like it. Alright, both of them are moving in. They are a bit far away from us, so they are really on their own at this point. Full sprint movement, interesting. Oh, okay. Okay, well that's a problem. Nice, good overwatch. And he just goes down immediately. Fantastic, that worked out well. Very good, I like it. Okay, cool. Tell you. We are excited and ready. Polina moves in. And that's a solid stun right there. Let's show them what we can do. Already there. Continuing to move up. Have to focus. I like that. The rep clearance is really strong if you use it well. Double time. Okay, moves up.
Taking aim. But next turn, we can free up the position and let someone else move up. Ah, that didn't fully work. Okay, never mind. Everybody gets some will points back. So, let's start here, shall we? Hundred seventy hit points, still too much. Can't finish him with that. that should work unless of course we're missing every single shot I'm here double time moves up Double moves. Aiming. Let's get rid of the pincer. How do we deal with this guy? He still has poison spit, which is a problem. And he has too many will points to actually die right now. That was unfortunate. It would be great if we would have hit him. Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, we're trying to keep the position here. Moving up. Warcry, which is a bit wasted for just one enemy, but it is what it is. Can't change that now. And we could help over here, but we could also help with that. Moderate hit at best. Good. Greta moves up. How much is left of the infrastructure? I mean, we could shoot through it, I suppose. Polina and pistol Holding here. We're going to take some damage on Barbor. 
unless someone helps us here. Well, that could have gone better. Oh, he does not have poison spit. He decided to move instead, which is fine by me. Oh. Okay, they are following the heavy. But the heavy is well armored, so we should be fine. but surely making our way there oh yeah that was a great hit Isla moves in next turn uh, we can continue uh, to give everybody uh, instill frenzy again can't really see through that So instead, let's move to here. And, uh, well, we, wait a second. No. That's not bad. I like it. Good, we're moving up. That way, everybody on the rooftop gets the regeneration. Uh, potentially the guys downstairs do not get it. Can't hit, uh, can't hit directly downstairs. But we can soften this guy up. And overwatch for the next turn. Too far away, which is interesting. I'd rather jump down. All right, so let's do that. And that, okay, cool. Not the best turn, but okay. could jump down but I don't want to do that what I would want to do is get to here because that's actually a really decent position out of any form of danger or harm and gives everybody still the benefit 
Okay, that's cool. Good, he's going to die. This guy is going to die, so we don't even need to deal with them. Instead, I would like to I'll keep my eyes open. Look into that direction. And keep my eyes open. Good, Barbor slightly injured, but not really a problem. I'm going. Gone through the shield, and I think we're done here. The one on one continues. The heavy. Yep, exactly. Just burns this guy away. Well, that's unfair. Someone is helping him. Filled with some frenzy, I like it. Going in. Target located. Polina moves up. And starts to punish the enemy. I want a medal for this. The enemy's still active. Barbour continues to move up. Greta follows. Unfortunately, we missed way too many shots there. In the meantime, on the other side of the map, we're getting this guy down. something I I think there is a slight possibility so how do we do it no good that's one then that is two.
And then that is number three. Pretty lengthy process, but it worked out in the end. Good, our sniper <coughs> has a long range duel. In the meantime, we saved uh, the heavy, which is great. He's done a fantastic job so far. Good, the shield bearer is almost done. Barber moves up. If you say so. Barber moves into Let's the go. barber shop. And I'm going. Yeah, I... We're good. Not sure. Well, we can't reload here. Switching. Out of ammunition. Okay, cool. Can't use fury. I see. Okay. We could get that heavy after the mission. That would be absolutely fantastic. Trying to aim. Good. A lot of overwatch. No time to lose. Enchanto dashes. And I think what we can do is we could actually start overwatching from here Nick overwatches Vincento overwatches Going in Polina goes a little bit closer and then overwatches And our technician overwatches again. Funnily enough, this team is actually not bad. I've played a variety of missions with them and the team composition works out well. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly that is supposed to mean. Got to focus. Target missed. Yeah, okay, well, Overwatch. Can't really see anyone. Okay, well. Jericho moves up. This better work. And hopefully finishes this. Of course not.
Pushing on. Let's go. Good. Unfortunately, can't really hit him from here. Good. We're just ending the turn. If they flee, fine. If they just continue to stay here, that's well, okay as well. Good. All right, mission one completed. Good, good, good. So we got. Yeah, well, we got a shotgun. That's not bad. Ah, too bad. I was hoping we could uh, get. Uh, the heavy. Good. So I think timing wise, we could do one more defense, a small one. Okay. We're seeing yet another attack. Well, fan effing tastic. Tiamat 2 is going to take care of it. Hopefully. And very soon, this here will become a problem. Good, so we'll do that uh, one defense and then the other three in one go. Uh, let's deploy here. Do we need anything? I believe with the exception of deploying points, uh, we don't need anything. JP Pauly finally gets, um, gets the last points. The melee weapon proficiency isn't too bad, but I wouldn't see when that would be needed. I mean, yes, it's fun and all, but not really needed. In the meantime, more hit points uh, will help us to no not have an unexpected death. Inappropriate Murphy in particular could use more hit points. Good. Self-defense yeah, we don't need we don't need more. I think what we need now is carrying capacity so that we're not uh, encumbered and just really straight up better stats. By the way, um, mist radius is good. The blast re um, reduction damage is fantastic, and no goo is also good. I think we don't need any of the other stuff. Um, yeah, here, same deal, right? So we want basically more strength so that we're not getting KO'd. The other option here is move within five tiles and disappear from the view. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that as well, but we're really not stealthy. It's the same problem as always. I think in his case, it's really just a matter of willpower because he's the number one support unit. And some more hit points. Let's just check one thing real quick. 
In terms of armor, so re the repeller module for the head I think is by far the best. That isn't bad for just simple detection. I don't even know what the dark environment penalties are. Poison, we already got that. Goo is definitely great. We have no psychic damage that we're taking. Fire resistance, yeah, it's okay. Blast damage. I think the blast damage is the best one. If we had an acid uh, one, I think I would uh, take that on the prime team. Because if I'm not mistaken, their robotic nature makes them vulnerable to acid. Good. Let's go, baby. We are... Fat frenzy up there. Grell, as always, is going to move up to spot out all of uh, the enemies, or at least find out where they are. Okay, back there. Fair enough. Very good. Seems like we have spotted out most of them. Which then neatly brings us uh, to the actual person that's going to carry this. We are having rapid clearance. We are double moving because I want to save the sprints for later. You can only sprint it twice per turn. Onslaught it is. And believe me, an onslaught it's going to be. Yeah, baby. All right, dashing. There's a berserker up in the first floor. Don't like it. Can we get up there? Uh, potentially, the only way to go about it is actually to jump, but I will take a chance. Can't get there. Oh, it's a tricky position that he put himself in. Correction that they put themselves in. But luckily, there is a solution to everything. You just need to hit hard enough. Oh, gotcha. We gotcha.
right. Very much concludes uh, the onslaught. As always, it was just a matter of finding the right pass. And then you can just go around the entire map thanks to 20 speed. I wish there was a way of uh, increasing that even further. But, I mean, we gotta live with what we have. At least the damage is just phenomenal. 540 points per slash is nothing uh, to ignore. Good. Diplomacy-wise, eh, I still don't fully like it, but to be fair, all I'm doing is defending the havens. And I'll defend one here as well. In the meantime, new. No. We're continuing to trade. Good, I sincerely hope that I won't forget about uh, the attack here. Ah yeah, once uh, that defense has been mounted, they are flying back. Okay, cool, I'm not forgetting about it. Very well. This is a lot to uh, to tackle whilst we're researching at the same time. Okay, we're waiting for the Manticore 3 to also appear and then that's potentially the end of uh, this episode we're doing the other defenses in the next episode okay so that is going to happen next episode we got one two three defenses to go plenty to play through uh, the prime team is active as ever interestingly enough i think uh, they have lost most of their armies uh, just for rushing into one another so yeah this is potentially not going to stabilize uh, a lot only thing that i can do is just put everybody in their uh, in their place uh, whilst kind of researching that. We only got four more research uh, items left. Once that is done, I am pretty sure that the story will continue one way or the other. Good. Thanks, guys, uh, for watching, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.